Good evening and welcome back to everybody to this part 2 in our journey in anesthesia in FMG. Now doctor, the next topic is CPR. Indira Jagadishwari, Indrani, Shweta, Nagredi and many more. What is the correct sequence of resuscitation? Early assessment, CPR, defibrillation and advanced life saving is what you need to remember. So the chain of survival it is called as. Early recognition and call for the help. Early CPR, early defibrillation and post resuscitation care is the sequence that you need to remember. So what is A, B, C, D of resuscitation, Dr. Favorite question of the examiner? Maintain airway in unconscious patient. Consider advanced airway, monitor the advanced airway. Then B, breathing, give 100% oxygen. Ventilate but do not over ventilate. C. Evaluate the rhythm. Obtain an intravenous connection and uh, defibrillate and do cardioversion. And D is identify and treat all the reversible causes and assess when to shock versus medicate. Shall I give shock or shall I medicate? According to the protocol. Kunjit Joshi. Please uh, refresh your browser, doctor. Please refresh browser. Right? Ha. Huh. Good to see 34 gang leaders across the country back into action. That should be spirit, doctor. According to the ASA, what is the initial management of cardiac arrest? Keep punching the answers along with me. It is the cardiac compression. So, any person unresponsive without normal respiration, call 911 and uh, get a automatic electrical defibrillator and uh, so on and so forth. The protocol. You need to be very sure. Now, doctor. Selix Menua. What is it used for? It is used to prevent gastric aspiration. So, you locate where is the cricoid cartilage by palpating the Adam's apple, the thyroid cartilage, and you depress just below the cricoid cartilage, that is, cricoid thyroid membrane using the thumb and index finger of one hand apply the pressure to the anterior and lateral aspects of the cricoid cartilage so like this so you can see that this is the cricoid cartilage this is the thyroid cartilage and you are applying it so that you are preventing the stomach contents from entering into the trachea which is called Selix Menua is what you should remember. Hemlix Menua was the question in uh, foreign medical graduate exam MCI screening test. Right? 2017 ka question hai. So it is the trachea. You want to dislodge a foreign body in trachea, we do Hemlix Menua. So what is 5 and 5? Give 5 back blows give five abdominal thrusts five black blows 
and five abdominal thrusts. The abdominal thrust will try to clear the choking victim's airway and try to push the foreign body out from the wind pipe is what you need to remember. So what is Mendelssohn syndrome doctor? Typically if you take a pregnant patient and you are taking her for anesthesia. So in a pregnant patient who is lying down her intra-abdominal pressure is very high and that will make the stomach contents to aspirate into the trachea, into the trachea. So that is called Mendelssohn's syndrome, where there is a chemical pneumonitis which is caused by aspiration happening during anesthesia is what you need to remember. It can occur with general anesthesia, sedation where there is a loss of laryngeal reflexes. So before you posted the patient for anesthesia, Pragya rightly says in pregnancy pH, uh, Priyanga, Priyanga says pregnancy pH less than 2.5 and volume more than 25 ml is the one responsible, absolutely. So before the patient is having a Mendelssohn, you have a clear right lung fill. But because of the aspiration, you can see the right lower lobe is showing opacification. So this is how aspiration has happened in a case of Mendelssohn syndrome. So any drug overdose, seizures, massive stroke, use of anesthesia, anything can lead to the development of the aspiration leading to the development of the Mendelssohn. So, stomach ka contains upar chadke, esophagus se, trachea ke andar gaye to aspiration ho jayega, jisko kete hai Mendelssohn. What is the depth of compression when you are doing CPR in the adults? It is two and half inches, nowadays it is not two, two and half. So, the CPR guidelines are modified in 2015. So the depth of the chest compression has shifted from 2 inches to 2 to 2.4 inches deep and you will do these compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute on the sternum in the center of the chest is what you need to appreciate. Please drop a line in your uh, WhatsApp study groups that our live class with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj is on and ready. Good to see 43 online students. Excellent doctor. But I kal kya padai karenge. Today we will finish anesthesia, 100 questions of the FMG. So what I am proposing is uh, there are about 200 questions in dermatology. In dermatology, in the last 15 years of uh, uh, FMG, Foreign Medical Graduate Exam MCI Screening Test. So, I am looking forward to do this revision. Shweta, we have done a Lagatar discussion of pathology, 700 MCQs in pathology. Discuss karke, online MBBS.com video library mein topic wise discuss karke bitaya. So, please take a chance to revise. Hmm? Vyon Chaudhary, sir, we have uh, we have uh, discussed uh, ophthalmology. Around 300 MCQs were there from the last 15 years of MCI screening test in FMG. We discussed, debated, and made it available in the online MBBS.com video library. So I'm just thinking tomorrow we will take a long uh, drive long drive so almost uh, when i come come to the class now this live online class it is like a pilot sitting in the cockpit with all your passengers so i have two laptops one laptop i see the uh, chat other laptop i deliver the projection with a simple camera before me 
सो so, कल कहा जाएंगे एम्स्टरडैम जाएंगे मेक्सिको जाएंगे कहा जाएंगे सो so, डर्मेटोलॉजी जाएंगे टुमोरो विल गो ऑन ए राइड ऑन डर्मेटोलॉजी ठीक है चलो सो so, इन्फेंट सीपीआर चिल्ड्रन अंडर वन ईयर ऑफ एज चेस्ट कंप्रेशन डेप्थ शुड बी हाफ एन इंच टू वन इंच टू टू थ्री फिंगर शुड बी यूज चिल्ड्रन में फ्रॉम वन टू एट इयर्स चेस्ट कंप्रेशन डेप्थ शुड बी वन एंड हाफ टू टू इंच हील ऑफ दैंड शुड बी यूज एडल्ट सीपीआर एट इयर्स एंड अप चेस्ट कंप्रेशन डेप्थ शुड बी टू 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 एंड हाफ इंच हील ऑफ दैंड दट इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर श्योर यू विल टेक अप द डर्मेटोलॉजी हमको भी कुछ काम नहीं है हमारा काम भी हम तो कंप्लीट मेरिया ऑफ नीट पीजी में बैठ गए डॉक्टर यू विल हैव ए टेंशन ऑफ ओनली यूर एग्जाम आई विल हैव ए टेंशन ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एग्जाम राइट सो दट इज द रीजन द ओनली वे आई कैन गो टू स्लीप इज if i have spent a couple of hours with all you guys to add that last minute kuch add kar sakte kya thoda petrol add kar sakte kya aapke preparation mein so that is my greediness little greediness doctor so thanks for joining the session participating in the discussion also tell your classmates also so doctor infants One and a half inches. Children two inches. Adults two to two and a half inches. Now, according to ASA, what is the initial management of cardiac arrest? Uh, Sureka Vidya already ophthalmology we discussed, debated, and made it available in the uh, online MBBS dot com video library. There is a folder called FMG. in that folder we discussed the fmg questions very recently only and made it available so please uh, kindly review that so yeah so according to asa what is the initial management of cardiac arrest chest compressions now a cylinder ki business mein aap garma garam ready rehna hai doctor kal ke exam ke liye now which is true about cracking of cylinder valve sureka itna bol rahe na definitely four to five most hot topics khatam karenge because sureka asked i can't say no now cracking of the cylinder valve you are momentarily opening it to blow away the foreign matter from the outlet that is the purpose of cracking of the cylinder valve so while you are this is the typical cracking of the cylinder valve doctor do not stand directly in front of the cylinder valve anesthesia cylinder valve and a fiance is anger you need to know how to handle it do not stand directly in front of cylindrical valve stand behind yeah that's a good position while cracking and aim in a safe direction like opening a champagne bottle now momentarily open and close the cylinder valve which is called cracking and that will blow out the dust dust or debris within the cylinder valve and prevent it from entering the regulator that's the point now doctor oxygen cylinder ka color batao let me check How good you guys are doing? Question number fifty-eight. Punch your answers, doctor. Let us make it interactive. Interactive. Sam Chakraborty is proposing A. Abhilasha proposing A. Excellent. I like the name Abhilasha. Abhilash ka matlab ambition. A human being without ambition. is not worth living we need to write a book our life story should become a book to tell our grandchildren before we go away right so abhilasha what is your abhilasha to become you want to become uh, 
गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट और जनरल मेडिसिन लाइक डॉक्टर मुरली और सर्जन व्हाट इज योर एंड फ्रॉम व्हिच प्लेस यू आर फ्रॉम अभिलाषा सो वेरी गुड ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर इज ब्लैक बॉडी व्हाइट शोल्डर डॉक्टर प्लीज प्लीज डॉक्टर इसका जरा दिल में लगा के एग्जाम को जाना डेफिनेटली वन क्वेश्चन आएगा ऑक्सीजन ब्लैक बॉडी व्हाइट शोल्डर नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड ऑल ब्लू वेरी गुड अभिलाषा इज फ्रॉम छत्तीसगढ़ रायपुर मेनी टाइम्स आई केम टू रायपुर इवन इन रायपुर गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज आई डिलीवर्ड ए लेक्चर मेनी टाइम्स आई इज टू स्टे इन दैट होटल बैबलॉन इन रायपुर सो नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल डेफिनेटली कम एंड बाय दैट टाइम अभिलाषा यू शुड बी डूइंग योर एम डी दैट इज अ डील right now carbon dioxide body is gray shoulder color is gray air body color is gray shoulder is white or black quarters entonox is blue and white are blue quarters oxygen and helium body is black and shoulder can be white or brown quarters oxygen helium mixture that's what you need to remember so doctor one small specific gas oxygen is white argon is dark green nitrogen is black carbon dioxide is gray and helium is brown that is what you need to understand very good amma ji nagrad sahi bol rahe orange is cyclopropane beautiful cyclopropane two oranges orange is cyclopropane now doctor pin index bah another disgusting disgusting is go i feel like crushing this question but examiner filter filter pin index ko yaad nahi rakhe to mai mai ke chali jaun gayi tum chhod ke पिन इंडेक्स को याद रखना नहीं तो नीट भी दिया एग्जामिनर मैं के भाग जाएगा सो डॉक्टर पिन इंडेक्स एट वन फाइव ऑक्सीजन टू फाइव नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड थ्री फाइव कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वन सिक्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेस देन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव साइक्लोप्रोपेन थ्री सिक्स एंटोनॉक्स वेन दैट इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सो पिन इंडेक्स फॉर नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड फटाफट बोलो थ्री फाइव वाई डू यू हैव दिस पिन इंडेक्स वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन पिन इंडेक्स इज टू प्रिवेंट ए रॉन्ग अटैचमेंट ऑफ द सिलेंडर सिलेंडर को लेके लगाते ना तो टू प्रिवेंट द रॉन्ग अटैचमेंट वी यूज द पिन इंडेक्स सो इट हैज holes on the cylinder valve which are positioned in a arc like this and uh, pins on the yoke or pressure regulator are positioned to fit into these holes that is the purpose of pin index system what is the pin index of nitrous oxide 3 5 now examiner aisa ek cylinder dega aapko puchega white shoulder black body where do you see what is your answer doctor oxygen cylinder now comes the ketamine the drug which is producing dissociative anesthesia ketamine now doctor ketamine ke bare mein panch pamtiyon mein jawab de do ketamine dissociative anesthetic ketamine acts on n methyl d aspartate receptors it is antagonist it is used for induction if you give ketamine emergent delirium hallucinations patient uh, us uh, bed se ja ke bolega pura sachai ki baat bolega ha to emergent delirium hallucinations ketamine stimulates cardiovascular system it raises intra cranial pressure intra ocular pressure all pressures it will increase 
And what is the disadvantage? It can lead to put high BP, high BP, high BP, brain ka blood vessels, put ho gaya, cerebral hemorrhage. It can lead to dysphoria, hallucinations, is what you need to remember. Achcha bhaiya, dissociative anesthesia ka matlab kya hota hai? What is the meaning of it? Patient will be in a cataleptic state in which the patient appears to be awake but he is completely detached from the environment and unresponsive to pain. Dr. Murli Bharadwaj is like a ketamine for all you need PG aspirates. After lectures, you should forget all the pain and detach the result. Seat aata ya nahi aata, mujhe yaad aata ya nahi aata, sab kuch bol jana. Come into a dissociative anesthetic stage is what you need to remember. It is also hypnotic, analgesic, amnesic. Oh, I'm not amnesic. Don't forget the important points that I tell. So ketamine is a fencyclidine dissociative anesthesia. It leads to immobility, amnesia, feeling of dissociation. Where does it act? In cortical, subcortical area on the NMDA receptors. It is metabolized in the liver. That is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, pharmacological effects of diketamine. What is except about it? Typically, ketamine causes profound analgesia, very deep analgesia. It causes amnesia, it increases cerebral blood flow and it increases blood pressure is what you need to remember. So the onset of action is lower than the other induction drugs, ketamine. There are some disadvantages also. It increases cerebral blood flow, it increases intracranial tension, it produces emergence delirium, especially in females. And usually it should be avoided by concomitant application of any sedative like benzodiazepine, ketamine. Co. It increases muscle tone and it increases purposeful movements. It leads to central sympathetic stimulation, is like BP badega, cardiac output badega, heart rate badega, sab kuch badega. That's what you need to remember. Good to see Roshan. We were missing you in the last class. One hour back. Because you did not come, I took a break and restarted the class. So ketamine is not used in... If there is increased ICT, don't use. It can be used very much in full stomach, pediatric patient, asthma patient, because it is a bronchodilator. Abhi Agaya, doctor. Favorite question of the examiner, right? What are the absolute relative contra indications of ketamine? Absolute, less than three months old, known or suspected psychosis, we should not give ketamine. Similarly, doctor, less than 12 months old, Procedures involving stimulation of postural pharynx, suspected case of coronary artery disease. Because this will increase the BP now. It will increase the afterload on the heart and myocardial oxygen demand. Glaucoma don't give because it increases the intraocular pressure, uncontrolled hypertension, and any brain space occupying lesion leading to raised ICP. Don't give it. That is very important. Now, doctor. Once more, what are the contraindications of ketamine? Hypertension, CHF, cerebral trauma, increased ICT, pregnancy. Contraindications of ketamine is what you need to remember. Now, Doc, which anesthetic agent is contraindicated with raised ICT? Ketamine. They can examine and go, could you be? Uh, there is no creative question paper. Question paper is a very standard question paper. Samaj me agyan doctor. Isliye anesthesia ka matlab 
पूरा एनस्थीशिया पढ़ने का नहीं वॉट एग्जाम वॉन्ट यू शुड बी रेडी विथ सो टोटली देर विल बी नॉट मोर देन सेवन हंड्रेड टू एट हंड्रेड पॉइंट फ्रॉम अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टॉपिक्स उसको गर्मा गर्म पढ़ना हर एक सब्जेक्ट में यू डोंट नीड मोर देन फोर हंड्रेड आवर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन डॉक्टर उससे ज्यादा पढ़े तो मुरली भरदवाज के लिए अपमान है मगर मैं तो एवरी ईयर मोर देन फोर हंड्रेड आवर्स पढ़ाता हूं क्योंकि स्टूडेंट्स ज्वाइन एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स कोई जनवरी से उठ के भागना शुरू करता कोई अप्रैल में नींद से जागेगा और कोई नवंबर में आके सर लास्ट मोमेंट कुछ ना कुछ बोलो मुझे प्रसाद दे दो मैं वो खा लेता हूं मैं तो महाज्ञानी बन जाता है आप जेंटली बोलते इसलिए मैं पूरा साल पढ़ाई करता हूं मगर आप तो पूरा साल नहीं करना फोर हंड्रेड आवर्स मोर देन इनफ डॉक्टर्स गो एंड स्पेंड गुड टाइम विथ योर गर्ल फ्रेंड राइट एंड अगर इफ देर इज एनी फूल हु टोल्ड यू यू हॉट रीड एट आवर्स ए डे ऑल द ईयर You will end up with decubitus ulcers in the reading room, right? Now, what are the de- dangers of ketamine? It is also called day trip drug. It is colorless, tasteless. That comes in powder or liquid. Once drugged, the victim becomes dissociated, unable to move, cataleptic ho jata, and the victim is unlikely to be unresponsive to fight against the sexual assault and a and the. memory loss will make even the person to forget about who was a uh, sllet that's the reason it is called day trip drug some of the grantus questions are absolutely absolute tangents score is average till now no worries doctor keep 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 identifying where you are going wrong right so that is the whole purpose of taking a grant test nothing more identify those topics quickly run through those topics and then do the revision that's the only thing doctor huh? don't go, don't get uh, too nervous about the scores or don't worry at all exam is like any other day hallucinations are seen with ketamine so it increases brain oxygen consumption psychedelic effects hallucinations emergence delirium especially when combined with benzodiazepines cross with fingers and nervous come on why nervous you are a brilliant student sureka let me tell you lot of times you give good answers and uh, very proactive and uh, you have so many classmates who are all sailing the same ship right and uh, nobody said all and what can we do by worrying also kuch milta kya kuch bhi nahi kar sakte zindagi mein any situation by worrying we can't do anything and lab once more will the problems end by getting into md no doctor there so many people every year are becoming md after becoming md you need to become consultant after becoming consultant you should be good consultant after becoming good consultant you should not kill patient if you kill patient suddenly one fine day all your glasses broken with the patients coming and suing you and all the journey become shattered so that is the reason life every day is a challenge we should enjoy the journey of challenge what is there to feel anxiety that's what i love to tell you all doctor i'm not just preaching that is what i believe in practicing every day every day is a surprise every day is a challenge right yesterday only there was a patient uh, refractory seizures are coming known case of epilepsy so tried all uh, the drugs suddenly someone said uh, let us uh, try topiramate topiramate shuru karte hi band ho gaya seizures so it was a challenge unable to uh, she is uh, the only daughter of her parents 
only child born after 14 years of infertility almost the father was holding me and crying kuch karo na doctor sahab bolke so that's what i am telling you the challenges for which we are uh, heading by joining into md after becoming topper series they are all the real lifetime challenges right where common sense a good luck also you know that moment to get an idea that let us start to pyramid is a, a calling from the god let me tell you i really thank to the god right so it is nowhere written in the book that you need to try that drug at that point of time there are guidelines so doctor life is constant challenge and only the challenge will make our life fulfilled contented when we age right so that's the reason enjoy the game enjoy the challenge keep the mind is not given in hypertension it is it is good in hypovolemic because that will improve the bp septic patients asthmatic patients is what you need to remember now doctor epidural anesthesia which ligament is pierced during lumbar puncture come on who is going to give me the correct answer nagreddy sahab always has a appreciation ramu lakshmi surekha jagadishwari indira come on puncture answers doctor while you are doing lumbar puncture you should get that wonderful sense first time when you do lumbar puncture no when the needle exactly passes and that entry feeling comes no that is a true anesthetic orgasm you need to get that you need to experience that so doctor priyanka says ligamentum flavor excellent jindabad so doctor the tissues which are being pierced in the order are skin subcutaneous tissue then you have a supra spinous ligament then you have a inter spinous ligament all this area all this area is inter spinous ligament then you have a ligamentum flavum so you have a ligamentum flavum ligamentum flavum then you have the dura mater dura mater and the arachnoid mater and then you will enter into subarachnoid space so this is epidural dura ke piche whereas you are having a this is the arachnoid mater so typically you are entering into the subarachnoid space that's what you need to remember so doctor once more interspinal ligament ligamentum ligamentum flavum then you are having the epidural space outside the dura and between dura and the arachnoid you have the subarachnoid space which has got a quina and lumbar puncture so this is the corus medullaris so these are all what doctor where does the spinal cord end ends at the level of the l1 so all the fibers are coming out so this is the skin subcutaneous tissue this is the interspinous ligament between the spinous process of the vertebrae brother then you are having ligamentum flavum after piercing the needle is passing and uh, here you have the uh, dura mater this inner line is dura mater this is the subarachnoid space into which you are ultimately entering into now doctor the drug uh acha the drug uh, was not shown actually the drug there is a drug bottle here which can be given intravenous intrathecal and epidural okay high spinal anesthesia what is it characterized by it is characterized by hypotension bradycardia 
generally our uh, reflex thinking in exam will be hypertension tacky but hypertension bradi so what are the complications immediate complications of the spinal anesthesia doctor hypotension cardiac arrest bradycardia that means bradycardia leads to hypotension and uh, uh, respiratory arrest then urinary retention epidural hematoma bleeding you have to be very sure on all the complications ab bhi aa gaya favorite question spinal anesthesia absolute relative contra indications you should be very sure right number 1 any infection at site of injection any rise in ict always before you pass a lumbar puncture needle check the pulse if there's a bradycardia that means there's a rise in ict you should never do the uh, spinal puncture otherwise it lead to herniation across the tentorium so hypovolemia shock septicemia any severe aortic or mitral stenosis and coagulopathies absolute contraindications relative contraindications examiner's favorite question any spinal cord or peripheral nerve diseases like poliomyelitis multiple sclerosis demyelinating diseases brain tumor cigarette syphilis meningitis anemia uncontrolled hypertension valvular heart disease other than msas and anticoagulant therapy they are all relative contraindications now doctor one more thing you have to be 100% sure in your concepts dura ke bahar kya hai epidural space dura aur arachnoid right so you have a subarachnoid space so what is the difference between extra neural anesthesia and the spinal anesthesia into subarachnoid space favorite question of the exam typically you are approaching subarachnoid space means you should not hit the spinal cord so that is the reason below l1 l2 where the spinal cord ends that is the place where you can give spinal anesthesia because you enter into subarachnoid space and you'll be puncturing the dura mater it should be below l1 and l2 whereas extra dural epidural can be given at any level of the vertebral column there you are injecting into epidural space where is it dura ke bahar ligamentum flavum ke andar that is without puncturing the dura mater it can be given at any level now how do you identify subarachnoid space csf will come out how will you identify epidural space there is loss of resistance that is the point you entered into extra dural then we give 2.5 to 3 ml bupivacaine spinal vein you want heavy means 0.5% then epidural may be give 15 to 20 ml bupivacaine 0.5% spinal anesthesia is rapid 2 to 5 minutes whereas epidural is slow 15 to 20 minutes density of the block is more dense with spinal anesthesia hypotension is very rapid with spinal anesthesia and headache is not a complication of extra dural but it is a complication of the spinal anesthesia that is what you need to emphatically remember doctor now what is the reason for hypotension hypotension is due to vasodilatation and a functional decrease in the effective circulating volume hypovolemia is a contributor and also vasodilatation so we give vasoconstrictor and we give oxygen and raise the legs and increase the venous return to the heart that is how you manage hypotension when it develops as a complication of the spinal anesthesia is what you need to remember what about bowler doctor high spinal anesthesia what does it lead to bradycardia and hypotension not tacky doctor what is this instrument that you are seeing bolo 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 it is lumbar puncture needle is what you need to remember 
सो दिस इज ए क्लासिकल एलपी नहीं दिला कर ये मालूम नहीं मतलब यू हैव नेवर गॉन टू ऑपरेशन थिएटर सो दिस इज व्हाट इज दिस कॉल्ड एस दिस इज कॉल्ड वेरस नीडल या है ना वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन वाज वेरी स्नीडल सो वेरस नीडल is a spring loaded needle used to create a pneumoperitoneum puncture karke pneumoperitoneum at the time of laparoscopic surgery is what you have to remember shortest acting opioid kaun hai bolo fmg 2018 ka question hai doctor mci screening test ka main iske pehle नीट पीजी ऑल इंडिया का भी क्वेश्चन बैंक डिस्कस किया एनस्टीशिया का एम्स का भी किया डीएनबी का भी किया जहां भी जाओ हाई टॉप ट्वेंटी टॉपिक लिस्ट यही रहता मोर और लेस एग्जामिनेस वे ऑफ क्वेश्चनिंग व्हाट टू आस्क सिमिलर एनी एग्जाम यू गो राइट दैट इज द रीजन यू हैव टू रिएक्ट टू दी एग्जामिनेस रिक्वायरमेंट expectations so should you answer doctor question number 75 ramu roshan namrata everybody is saying remifentanil super so what are the properties of remifentanil very short acting opioid rapidly cleared from the blood by action of esterases 1.3 minutes onset of action rapid offset of action within 3.65 minutes and a predictable offset of action independent of the duration of infusion and uh, you can do a precise intraoperative control like a surgical attack fast clear headed recovery and uh, pharmacokinetics are not affected by obesity renal or hepatic failure isliye remi fentanyl zindabad is what you need to remember now doctor based on the onset peak effect duration you should know what are the various analgesics which are non opioid dexmedetomine dexmedetomine easily titrated duration 4 hours iv acetaminophen onset in 15 minutes peak effect in 30 minutes and duration is 4 to 6 hours used at the end of the surgery and contraindicated if the patient is having liver disease acetaminophen is our paracetamol ketorlac onset in 30 minutes and use at the end of the surgery but be careful if the patient is having bleeding diathesis ketamine is also used as a non opioid analgesic typically half an hour to one hour duration is 30 to 60 minutes but it can lead to post operative delirium but it is a good bronchodilator and it is adjunct for chronic pain burns pain etc they ketamine can very much be used now doctor opioids alfentanil sufentanil remifentanil one to comments alfentanil ultra short acting for intra operative analgesia it has no use in post operative period it can lead to respiratory depression sufentanil 5 to 10 times more potent than fentanyl and remifentanil also ultra short acting duration of action is short no residual effects that is a great advantage so alfentanil is a synthetic opioid introduced in 1980 it is less potent and it has one third duration of the fentanyl and it is agonist at the mu receptor lot of times this question was asked where does alfentanil work alfentanil is agonist at mu receptor is what you need to remember remifentanil it is it lead to concentration dependent slowing of eeg 
at the bolus dose it can lead to muscle rigidity muscle rigidity especially opioids be careful if patient is having a respiratory depression you should not use opioid but remifentanil has no effect on icp it preserves central auto regulation in the brain and it is it lead to no seizure activity there are some good things about remifentanil so how do you divide the opioids doctor this is another table but t marne wala table examiner jarur puchega pentajosin butorphenol nalgofen buprenorphin nalorphin they are called agonist antagonists naloxone naltrexone nalmefine they are all antagonists that is what you need to remember now what are the short acting opiates doctor fentanyl remifentanil as what we have discussed fentanyl depresses the laryngeal reflexes and uh, uh, onset is within 3 minutes it is a short acting synthetic opioid remifentanil already we discussed ultra short acting used only by iv infusion and context sensitive half life that is called it is 3 to 4 minutes so rapidly it wears off so i leave the literature for you all these slides are available in the books may be available hai online mbbs.com ke video library mein bhi available hai magar aapke mind mein register hona kyunki exam mein zarur puchne wala questions hai what is the side effect of alfentanil so as we have discussed hypertension can occur with alfentanil so there is a very good risk of hypertension especially when alfentanil acyclofenac if they happen to become combined this what you need to remember very good to see 76 online attending the today session please tune to online mbbs.com video library doctor tomorrow we will have a discussion of 200 questions in the past 15 years foreign medical graduate exam mca screening test ka dermatology ka revision karenge mca screening test mein dermatology ka revision karenge every 50 questions discuss karke jara half an hour chai break le lenge फिर बैठेंगे अनदर 50 क्वेश्चंस देखते देखते चार घंटे में डर्मेटोलॉजी खत्म कैलाश नाउ डॉक्टर यू नीड टू नो दैट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द ओपियोइड्स इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन वेरियस वेज यू कैन क्लासिफाई व्हिच इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल ओपियोइड मॉर्फिन सेमी सिंथेटिक कोडीन हेरोइन माइड्रोमॉर्फोन ऑक्सीमॉर्फोन which is a synthetic opioid meperidine alfentanil fentanil sufentanil remifentanil now based on the potency you call weak medium strong is strong hota hai fentanyl sufentanil alfentanil remifentanil weak hota hai codeine tramadol hydrocodone is what you need to remember time boliye sir time jara कल एक दो सोशल फंक्शन अटेंड करके आई विल आई विल क्रिएट ए पॉइंट आई विल अपडेट यू एंड ऑल्सो इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप वी विल अपडेट यू इफ यू आर नॉट एट द पार्ट ऑफ द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप प्लीज कॉल अवर हेल्पलाइन नाइन ट्रिपल जीरो एट सिक्स एट थ्री फाइव सिक्स एंड बिकम द पार्ट ऑफ अवर व्हाट्सएप स्टडी ग्रुप वेर यू हैव ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स डेफिनेटली इट इज इन आफ्टरनून नॉट इन द मॉर्निंग नाउ डॉक्टर muscle rigidity by fentanyl is because of action on which receptor is a very important question now uh mu receptor mu receptor doctor so fentanyl is a potent synthetic opioid analgesic rapid onset short duration and fentanyl mu 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 is fentanyl that's what you need to remember doctor ab bhi aa gaya favorite question of the examiner batti marne wala 
मूंगफली 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 आ गया यस डॉक्टर वो जो पियोवाइड इज म्यू डेल्टा और कप्पा इज इट एगोनिस्ट और एंटेगोनिस्ट ये टेबल पट्टी मारना पड़ेगा डॉक्टर ब्यूप्री नॉर्फिन पार्शियल एगोनिस्ट ऑन म्यू एंड एंटेगोनिस्ट ऑन कप्पा ब्यूटॉर्फिनॉल पार्शियल एगोनिस्ट ऑन म्यू एंड एगोनिस्ट ऑन कप्पा फेंटेनाइल एगोनिस्ट ऑन म्यू वीक एगोनिस्ट ऑन कप्पा मेपेरिडिन एगोनिस्ट ऑन म्यू स्ट्रॉन्ग एगोनिस्ट ऑफ कप्पा बट जस्ट बॉल बट्टी बट्टी मारो डॉक्टर इस टेबल को डेफिनेटली वन क्वेश्चन आने वाला है आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रीड एवरीथिंग या सो नाउ डॉक्टर वट इज द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ एल्फेंटेन एल्फेंटेन कैन लीड टू जस्ट वॉल डिजिलिटी इज वॉट यू नीट रिमेंबर नाउ इफ यू लुक इट फेंटेनाइल सुफेंटेनिल रेमिफेंटेनिल एल्फेंटेनिल दे आर ऑल नोन टू लीड टू जस्ट वॉल डिजिलिटी इसको बोलते हैं वुडन जस्ट सिंड्रोम वॉट इज दट कॉल डॉक्टर Wooden chest syndrome is what you need to remember. Okay, now muscle rigidity by fentanyl uh, is due to which receptor? Mu receptor. Now, doctor, which anesthetic is contraindicated in porphyria? Easy question. Thiopentone. so tell me doctor batao jaldi what are the contra uh, sir previously told us hypertension both hypertension and chest wall rigidity dono answers hai you are right nagredi both uh, hypertension especially when acyclofenac and alfentanil is com combined you get hypertension acute intermittent porphyria similarly barbiturate allergy anybody had earlier sometimes when you give barbiturate paradoxical excitation will occur if that history is there it is contraindicated any status asthmaticus also don't give barbiturate because asthmatic guy has to breathe and don't uh, kill his respiratory drive in cheese may which is absolute contraindication of thiopentone Acute intermittent porphyria, relative bronchial asthma, bronchitis, smoker sh cough, shock, respiratory obstruction, any fixed cardiovascular lesions like valvular stenosis, heart block, constrictive pericarditis, coronary artery disease, thiopentone ka contraindications. Why thiopentone is preferred as an induction agent is an important question. Take off, landing, दोनों स्मूथ है स्मूथनेस ऑफ इंडक्शन एंड रैपिड रिकवरी सो वन वर्ड अबाउट नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड द मोस्ट पोटेंट एनर्जेसिक सबमेन ऑफ ऑल एजेंट नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड बट इट्स अ वीक एनेस्थेटिक इट हैज अ लो पोटेंसी इट लीड टू रैपिड इंडक्शन एंड रिकवरी बिकॉज ऑफ द लो ब्लड सॉलिबिलिटी no muscle relaxation nitrous oxide is not anesthetic not muscle relaxant only analgesic no respiratory depression no hepatotoxicity very minimal cardiovascular effects is lay nitrous oxide is good even today which anesthetic agent is contra indicated in porphyria thiopentone absolute in contra indication For thiopentone porphyria. Now, intravenous regional anesthesia is the next favorite topic. Tourniquet is applied in Byers block, and it can provide anesthesia for how long? For one hour, it can provide. Jana Bhaiya, few points. Let us discuss about Byers block. बैयर्स ब्रॉक को अगस्त बैया ने डिस्कवर किया 1908 में 
कितने साल बीत गए बैयर साहब 112 इयर्स इन 1963 सिक्सटी थ्री होम्स पॉपुलराइज बैयर ब्लॉक एंड इट इज कंप्लीटेड विद इन फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी मिनट एनस्टिशिया इज रैपिड एंड इट ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड ए गुड मसल रिलैक्सेशन नाउ डॉक्टर वॉट डू यू डू इन बैयर ब्लॉक where do you do any surgical procedure involving the arm below the elbow surgical involvement of the leg below the knee that is the place where bayer block is used close fractures burn debridement abscess incision drainage removal of any ground in debris laceration repair foreign body removal limited surgical procedure you can use the bayer block bayer block jab karte na what are the things that provide anesthesia and analgesia what is the reason for developing anesthesia and analgesia number one you are injecting local anesthetic so initial analgesia is produced by that local anesthetic then you are creating asphyxia practically 20 to 30 minutes and that complements the local anesthetic and the local anesthetic will traverse the venous wall into surrounding tissue then hypothermia and acidosis they lead to enhanced local anesthetic activity a combination of that local anesthetic asphyxia hypothermia acidosis that all you created in that limb that contributes to anesthesia analgesia in case of bayer's block अच्छा भैया ये बयस ब्लॉक कैसे देते ये स्मॉल आईवी इंट्राविनस कैथेटर 22 गेज वाला इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द डोरसम ऑफ द पेशेंट्स हैंड व्हिच नीड टू बी एनेस्थेटाइज्ड द पेशेंट इज इन सुपाइन पोजीशन नाउ यू विल बी अप्लाइंग ए टोनिकेट ऑन द प्रोक्सिमल आर्म ऑफ द एक्सट्रीमिटी व्हिच नीड टू गेट ब्लॉक्ड वी यूज अ डबल कफ to increase the reliability of the technique and you palpate radial and ulnar arteries to establish the baseline and once you apply the eschmark rubber bandage to complete the exsanguination of the extremity elevate the arm to promote the venous drainage and there should be absence of radial pulse then the extremity is being lowered and the local anesthetic is slowly injected through a previously inserted iv cannula is what you need to remember and post procedure analgesia will occur within 3 to 4 minutes and you need to maintain the tourniquet pressure at least 50 mm above the systolic bp that's what you need to remember so what are the advantages doctor easy cash me एक टोनिकी लगाओ खींचो एक आईवी कैथेटर लगाओ एनेस्थेटिक को इंजेक्ट करो खत्म एनेस्थीशिया लो इंसिडेंस ऑफ ब्लॉक फेलियर सेफ टेक्निक रैपिड ऑनसिडेंट रिकवरी पेशेंट इज अवेक ड्यूरिंग प्रोसीजर पेशेंट देख सकते हैं को क्या कर रहे हैं भैया देख सकते हैं कंट्रोलेबल एक्सटेंट ऑफ एनेस्थीशिया बट डिसडवांटेज क्या होता है ओनली फॉर शॉर्ट प्रोसीजर्स बियॉन्ड ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट्स देख भी टॉनिकी पेन they lose pulse rapid recovery may lead to post operative pain there are all the issues is what you need to remember but what are the contra indications to do the bayer any reynolds disease sickle cell disease young children shock inadequate tourniquets hypersensitive prilocaine or lidocaine seizure disorder multiple trauma like crush injury you can't do bayer So what do we use as a local anesthetic in Bayer? Prilocaine, bupivacaine, lignocaine. But prilocaine is the preferred drug of choice. Drug of choice in Bayer's block is what you need to understand. So tourniquet pain at the IV side they can be blotchy erythema. If the tourniquet fails, lignocaine can enter into systemic circulation, leading to headache and lethargy. There are all the issues. खत्म बैर के आत्मा
स्वर्ग में खुश हो जाएगा पूरा भारत ने सुन लिया ना एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट विथ कॉन वैसो कॉन्स्ट्रिक्टर इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन वेरी गुड सारा खान वंस मोर रिमाइंड बीपी वर्किंग नो इन बैर so typically it is contraindicated in a ring block so what is digital block otherwise called ring block doctor digital or a ring block a large volume of anesthetic is not required if you happen to inject near the nerve the needle should always be withdrawn between dorsal and ventral injections to avoid nerve and vessel damage and uh, anesthesia occurs within 40 4 to 20 minutes so this is an example of a axillary ring block where you are injecting very close to intercostal brachial and medial brachial cutaneous nerves bias block is called intravenous regional analgesia now celiac block is given for what celiac block celiac block is given for any abdominal malignant growth so you should remember doctor this is the spinal cord this is the l1 vertebra this is the aorta aorta ke baju mein kya hai celiac plexus hai aap needle pass karke idhar pahunch ke celiac plexus ko block kar rahe hain so where do you do celiac block any acute or chronic pancreatitis any visceral cancer like pancreatic cancer any intra abdominal mets as an adjunct to surgery there are all the indications for giving a celiac block what are the complications stop it while while doing celiac block you can lead to chylothorax pneumothorax if your needle either udhar gaye to nerve injury retroperitoneal fibrosis arterial vasospasm local pain diarrhea hypotension anything can happen abhi aa gaya mere bhai propofol propofol ko kya bolte hain mere pyare bharatwasiyon isko kehte hain milk of amnesia it is called as propofol aapko milk dikhai de rahe hai ya nahi milk milk it will be almost like a milk in consistency so the best anesthetic drug for a day care surgery hota hai propofol propofol so this is how propofol almost has got a milky consistency typically we use it in intensive care unit sedation protocol mein propofol use karte intensive care unit mein you have ventilated a patient but the patient is still having some voluntary effort and he is fighting against the ventilator so you want to sedate but you want to sedate without affecting his bp or anything hence icu sedation protocols mein we use the propofol is what we need to remember petrol khatam doctor laryngeal edema is significantly interrupting is the voice clear doctor or is it too muffled are you able to follow me now conscious sedation typically in uh, conscious sedation to maintain general anesthesia we use the propofol very good indira rightly remains once opened it should be used within 6 hours beautiful so what is propofol it is isopropyl phenol formulated as 1% aqueous solution and it contains soybean oil egg lecithin 
That is the reason, as Indira rightly says, if you are using propofol, you, once you open it, you have to use it immediately. Otherwise, all this become infected. And uh, typically it can lead to sepsis. So that is the point. Vandan Bolre, sir, it is boring. Yeah, sometimes boring things go. Roaring spirit may padna padaya. Right? Huh. Keep punching some points that come to your mind. It will be very interesting. Now, doctor, how does propofol act? GABA me mediated inhibition of the CNS. That's what you need to remember. It activates GABA receptor. It causes increased chloride conductance. It leads to hyperpolarization of the postsynaptic membrane and lead to inhibition of the postsynaptic membrane. It is metabolized in the liver, excreted in the liver. Duration is 5 to 10 minutes. Onset is 15 to 30 seconds. That's the reason it is used in day care, day care surgery. Now, it is used for sedation. Mechanically ventilated patients, as I told you, someone is fighting against the ventilator. Similarly, bronchodilation ke liye, you will be using it. And also it is used for procedures which are done like invasive tests and uh, procedures. Then what is the contraindication? Any hypothesis to propofol, like a soya bean oil, egg or egg allergy, kisi ko hai to, don't give propofol. Obstetrical procedures don't give propofol. Nursing mothers don't give propofol. Anesthesia in children below 3 don't give propofol is what you have to remember. What are the side effects of propofol, doc? Nausea, cough, confusion, and agitation, muscle pain, discolored urine is what you need to remember. Now regarding propofol, it is used in induction, it possesses antiprotetic action, it can be given intravenously, but it has an anti-emetic action, not a, uh, it does not lead to emesis. Post-anesthetic nausea vomiting is uncommon with propofol, that's a point you need to remember. Now doctor, ether, ether ke bare mein prasav karenge. What is true about ether? Ether is used in, ether is uh, having a slow induction, slow induction. That is a true statement. Now with ether, there are some advantages, disadvantages, which you have to be 100% sure. Ether ko, remember doctor, 1970s, 1980s mein, MBBS doctor only used to do all practice. He is a cardiologist, nephrologist, neurologist, anesthetist, obstetrician in a village. Lot of old timers, they used to use ether. Because you don't need any complicated apparatus to give it. Post it is a potent anesthetic, good analgesic, lead to mother relaxation, lot of safety, respiratory stimulation, bronchodilatation, it does not sensitize heart, no cardiac arrhythmias, it can be used in deliveries, and uh, it is less likely to lead to any hepato or nephrotoxicity. But what are the disadvantages? It is inflammable, explosive, slow induction, slow recovery, cardiac arrest, convulsions in the children. They are all the disadvantages. So ether jo hota hai, potent anesthetic, good analgesic, good muscle relaxant. It is inflammable, explosive, irritant, induction is slow, unpleasant, recovery is slow. That is what you need to remember. Come on doctor, let me see. Count banega Piji Pati. Which is the World Anesthesia Day? Don't tell me January 6th. January 5th, Neet Piji Kadam Hone Ke Baad, Pura Anesthesia Me So Jayenge. 
Sam Chakraborty is proposing 16th October. But yeah. Why 16th October? It is this great man, William Morton. This is the Massachusetts um, General Hospital. There is something called Ether Dome in this hospital. So this Morton guy is actually a dentist. He is the one who first administered and uh, it was on this day, the 16th October. And who is the surgeon? Collins Warren removed it from the neck of a local printer. What is the first patient? Ka naam kya hai? A bot. And uh, nobody believed. Kya hai? Kuch, uh, inhale kare to pain nahi hota. Kya bolke? Then patient did not cry at all while Warren was doing surgery. And Warren said, hey man, gentleman, this is no humbug, he said. Okay. Now, doctor, this is the borest of the borest of the borest topics. I'm only worried. Uh, somebody said boring. No. Mullai Vandan. So, you will get a full sleep at the end of this topic. So, doctor, what is the use of soda lime in anesthesia machine? Typically, it is used in breathing circuits to absorb carbon dioxide. So, this is how, doctor, the soda lime in an anesthetic machine, it has got a place to accommodate it. So, this is the anesthetic machine with a soda lime. Okay. So, soda lime typically uh, contains 80% calcium hydroxide, 15% water, 4% sodium hydroxide, 1% potassium hydroxide. So, it is used for absorbing the carbon dioxide. So, whenever you are using an anesthetic breathing system, if you want to get rid of if you want to get rid of the carbon dioxide, two ways. One is you use fresh gas flow in order to drain it out, or you will use soda lime to absorb it. That's how carbon dioxide in the anesthesia breathing systems is being uh, absorbed. Now, what is most efficient maple sun circuit? in case of spontaneous ventilation spontaneous ventilation maple sun a amma a maple sun a b c d yaad rakhna doctor i feel like crying let us all cry together see doctor all this maple sun a b c d e f how do they differ where is the fresh gas coming? Where is the position of exhaling valve? Where is the patient end? And where is the back? That is the only difference. So, bank, fresh gases, then exhaling valve, with patient hota hai a then if the fresh gas inflow is more closer to the exhaling valve that is b then if you don't have this corrugated rubber tube that becomes c then you have a exhaling valve very close to the back that become D. If you don't have exhaling valve that become E. Then you have a and also no bag. But you have a bag, corrugated rubber, gas flow, patient end, no exhaling valve that is F. 
That's all, doctor. How you will remember? Aapke hat mein hai jahan apna. Now, where is the location of gas inlet? Near the bank, it is A. Near to the patient, it is B. Even in C, D, E, F, everywhere, it is nearer to the patient. Location of fresh gas inlet. But it is near the bank. Only in case of A. Okay. Then where is the valve location? Near the patient in A, B, C. But it is away from the patient in case of D and E. And it is absent in case of F. I leave this table for you, doctor. Whatever you do, I don't know. Sit with your friend, take a pen and paper, or batti maarte ho, ya kuch na karo, magar yaad rakho, kyunki ek maple sun jaroor puchega ekram na. A ko bolte hai magil and or lack. B is obsolete, thank God. B is Britain, Britain is obsolete. C is also obsolete, only for emergency resuscitation, ambu bag. D ko bolte hai bain. Bain circuit. It's called not brain. Bain, bain, bain circuit. E ko bolte hai ayer. Ayer TPs. Ayers TPs. Yaf ko bolte hai Jackson Reese is what you need to remember. So that is very, very important. So, in the exam, the examiner will simply push that. He will give you one diagram and say, Bhaiya, this maple sun is here, 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 that is very important. So, fresh gas flow inlet near the reservoir bag is there. Maple sun A. Fresh gas flow inlet and APL valve near the face mask. Maple sun B. No corrugated tubing. Maple sun C. APL valve near the reservoir bag. Maple sun D. No APL valve and reservoir bag. Maple sun E. Open ended reservoir bag, but no APL valve, maple sun F. That is the point you need to remember. But abhi favorite question mein bata aapko. What is the efficiency of these various maple sun units in spontaneously ventilating patient? A more than D F E more than C B. A more than D F. DFE more than CB. A dog can't bite. A dog can't bite. A more than D more than C more than B. Somehow you remember it, doctor. There is no other way. Now the next favorite question, doctor. Be very sure. What is the efficiency of this control ventilation? DFE more than BC more than A. Dog bites anyway. Dog bites anyway. Right? Huh. Then maple sun D jo hota hai, it is effective for both controlled and spontaneous ventilation. D has double ability. What, what is that? Controlled and also spontaneous ventilation. Maple sun C, don't worry, last slide, you will survive, you will survive the innate PG doctor, don't worry, maple sun C is used in recovery rooms because they are small and lightweight without any corrugated tube, now Jackson re circuit is also used for both spontaneous and controlled in pediatric patients. Jackie Beta Idra. Jackie Beta Idra. Pediatric patient. Jackson Lee. Mug it, mug it, mug it. There is no other way. One question. 
डेफिनेटली आएगा जब आप मेपलसन को आंसर करते हैं ना नीड पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में दैट इवनिंग या आई रिमेंबर यू विल से नाउ डॉक्टर प्री एनेस्थेटिक चेकअप अमेरिकन सोसाइटी ऑफ एनेस्थीशियोलॉजिस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड ए स्कोरिंग सिस्टम व्हाट इज दैट फॉर हेल्थ स्टेटस ऑफ पेशेंट वन मीन्स नॉर्मल हेल्थी टू मीन्स माइल्ड सिस्टमिक सीवियर सिस्टमिक सीवियर सिस्टमिक नॉट थर्टनिंग टू लाइफ threatening to life that's how asa grading which is not a complication of giving anesthesia in a chronic smoker atelectasis is post operative pneumonia intraoperative bronchus was anything can occur and smoker may there is a decreased mucosal clearance now doctor capnography what is it monitor it monitored the concentration of carbon dioxide which is exhaled theek hai thoda 4 5 points iske upar examiner puchega you have to get ready with them doctor so basically if you look at capnography a b is called baseline doctor b c is called expiratory upstroke C D is called expiratory plateau. D is called end tidal concentration of C O two, and D to E is called inspiration. So, in a normal person, capnography will be up plateau down base, up plateau down base like that. then in hyperventilation how will it be it will be more frequent hyperventilation it will be less frequent and bronchospasm may typically what will happen so you should know different patterns the take home message is capnography is a non invasive method to monitor the end tidal exhaled carbon dioxide to know the patient's ventilatory status and phase 1 is called respiratory baseline phase 2 is expiratory upstroke phase 3 is expiratory plateau d is where you are looking for the end tidal carbon dioxide peak level and e is inspiratory downstroke image based mcq examiner kal ye a image mein ek image aayega doctor aap murli bharadwaj ko का याद आएगा इफ द ईटी ट्यूब का डिस्कनेक्टेड इफ देर इज ए लॉस ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी फंक्शन टिपिकली इट विल बी लाइक दिस लाइक दिस डिक्रीजिंग एंड टाइटल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इफ देर इज ए ईटी ट्यूब कफलीक और ईटी ट्यूब इन हाइपोफेरिंग्स और पार्शियल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इट विल बी टिपिकली लाइक दिस इट इज अ मैक्सिमम जूम uh priyanka but anyway this powerpoint slide is available in the online mbbs.com video library doctor please have it now attempt to maintain minimum 10 mm of mercury and any sudden increase in etco2 that is return of spontaneous circulation isko bolte hai rosc then if there is any bronchospasm this is called shark fin shark ka fin hai na wo shape aata asthma copd this hypoventilation is hyperventilation if there is any apnea or sedation there is a decreased etco2 that is what you need to remember okay doc now what is chloroform chloroform is cardiotoxic cardiotoxic what factors favor fat embolism in major trauma if the fracture site is more mobile a long bone fracture may that will favor a fat embolism the last question are ever shweta bede bolo 
I don't know. It has already ended. Huh? I don't think now you will tell. Anesthesia is not the, like radiology, right? Huh. So, yeah, everything will end at a point, doctor, provided you decide where is the end time. What are the milestones in journey? What are the high yield topics examiner want? You have to be very sure when you go to the reading room. Right? Now you are very sure. Now, a patient is on mechanical ventilation in intensive care unit and ventilator shows alarms. Koi, 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 increase in both the peak and the plateau pressure during inspiration. What does it indicate? It indicates that endotracheal tube is blocked. So tomorrow, you all guys will join in MD, general medicine, anesthesia, etc. As a resident room ko aane ke baad bhi kaano mein wohi aawaz sunai dete rehta suddenly you will be waking up and saying sister see ET tube is blocked but actually it is your alarm which is uh, buzzing so doctor this is suppose if you plot the pressure in centimeters water and time ventilatory time this is the inspiratory flow, this is called peak pressure. Then this is called inspiratory pause. Then this is called plateau pressure. Then you have expiratory flow. Then there is an expiratory pause. Once more, there is a inspiratory flow. So this is how the phase will be uh, going on. So if there is a high peak pressure, High peak pressure, but a low plateau pressure. What does it mean? Similarly, if there is a high peak and also high plateau pressure, what does it mean? That is the favorite question of the examiner. High peak, low plateau. Mucus plaque, bronchospasm, ET tube block, biting. The patient is biting the uh, tube. Then, ARDS, pulmonary edema, pneumothorax, effusion, ET tube migration into a bronchus, they lead to high peak, high plateau pressure. That is what you need to appreciate. So once more, doctor, increase PIP and PP, increase P PIP with unchanged PP. That is another situation. Any increased airway resistance or increased inspiratory gas flow rate can lead to increased PIP with unchanged peak pressure. That's what you need to remember. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So, doctor, uh, kal hum dermatology padai karenge. Please tell all your friends, east or west, who is the best to make you the topper of the next, I mean, need PG. Dr. Murali Bharadwaj on the online MBBS.com video library Tell your friends there is one unemployed MD general medicine Kuch bhi kaam nahi hai Roz ek do gante baite ke padai karega Or already about Thousand hours of video content Is available Two lakh powerpoint slides of notes is available So ask your juniors to join And subscribe to Online MBBS.com video library Enjoy a great preparation Next eight days, like a gladiator, fight, 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 fight until the last drop of the blood. Right, Doc? Good night, and we will once more catch up tomorrow. Bye bye.